Hey people, welcome back. More. Vitamin Y. So today we are using U Belt Arching. Ah, so it's kind of funny, you know, that, uh, um, oop, I meant to click the first guy, but it's fine. I, uh, Tunes, Tunes, they got their own snap steel. And now everybody's like, oh yeah, Tunes, they're gonna be like top tier. They have their own snap steel. Oh fuck, oh shit, they're the hot shit now. And I'm just like, and I'm sitting there laughing. Because I'm like, well, you know, they're not the first archetype to get their own snap steel, because of course you guys might know. Falling down right here, you know. I'm gonna be of course doing the card review about that card, and maybe other cards. I don't know, but definitely, I, I just thought it was kind of funny to see, uh, you know, everybody freaking out that tunes get their own snatch steal. Well, you know, our have had their own snatch steal for years now. You know, I'm totally fine with you know lower tier decks, decks that aren't even relevant to go ahead and have you know powerful cards like that. Why not? You know. Now, when you start putting the powerful cards in the powerful deck's hands, that's when you start to get a problem, you know? Like, yeah, well, you know, this deck has its own Snatch though, but hey, you know, Necros, they have their own freaking vanity, so how does that sound? <laughs> you know, how does that sound? Absolutely stupid, but besides that... <laughs> Alright, Black Garden, well, this should be fun. And by fun, I mean absolutely not fun. <laughs> I like Calvary, but... Sometimes he just does not get any use. In fact, I will go ahead and drop down. You will get your token. I will drop Eris. Eris, go ahead and actually search me for Nefarious Harshmeen of, of Nefariousnessness. You gonna get your token? There you go. <laughs> so I dropped down to 700 attack, which is totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, I really want to kill the monster, but I have no idea, you know, what what's behind that set. And I might go for like a cast stone. So I can go attack. Oh, hold on. I apologize, people. That was actually Renny. Uh, I could cast the the fill spell right now. But even for him, it might be kind of difficult for even him to get over stronger than, you know, 14 with his attack cut in half. Alright. You can better this card, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh. Hey, you know what? You know what? I'm really not too afraid of it right now. Yeah, I think I might just go for King of Fairlands. I have a Diamond Crab King. I like him. He's not, he's not bad. I'll allow you to do your own thing. Wow, that means I'm at 50. Ew. I'm not doing the math on that. I, alright, so apparently I gotta keep on giving you your damn token, so. I just gotta sit here and babysit you in this duel. Go ahead. <laughs> kind of annoying actually <laughs> so what am I right now I'm 1150 right you could have just put him on the field but it's fine okay so you're putting those back so you're running Sylvans with Mount Sylvan, but then you're like Black Garden too, that's interesting. Like, okay. You get to put three back? I thought it was only two. Draw three cards, and then you return two. So at least you even out with the card. If you do three and put back three, that doesn't seem right. Seems wrong, but I don't know anything about Sylvan, so. I have no idea. I said, hopefully this man knows how knows about Sylvan's way more than me, because I know nothing about Sylvan's. They've never been my cup of tea. A weird plant deck. You know, I like glorified milling with their excavating system, and just, I don't know, I've never been a big fan of them. 
I don't even think I've ever even played them, so. I like this card. Okay, he's just going to quit it. I say, I like this card, but if I don't have anything that can destroy by card effect, it's not that useful. That's why I only run it at two. Yeah. Is that I need, like, Dark Hole or Terror and Nefarious Archery and Nefariousness to make it, you know, even half decent. Besides that, it would just, it's just a, you know, 1900 beater. And there's nothing wrong with being a 1900 beater. Just, you know. Your effect is nice, and I would like to get it, so. I think that's probably one of the problems with him right now. Me too. Alright. Oh, this hand is absolutely terrible. Yeah. I'm gonna get a single Archfiend card. Well, if I draw an Archfiend card, then maybe I have to make Falling Down useful. Just go ahead and take your monster. It's pretty good. Like I said, it's just like Snatch Dose if I take 800 during the my phase, but... There we go. Looks like that foolish. So, we're gonna go ahead and foolish. And we usually we would send you Bell, but we're not. We're actually gonna go ahead and send, uh, Eris. And Eris, go ahead and get your effect and get me Nefarious Archfiend and Nefariousness. Because not only do I have Nefarious Archer and Nefariousness now, but Eris in the Grave Rite, so I can go in Black Rose. Oh, that's totally fine. You can have that, don't even what I'm at at. Go ahead. My use this was Eris. That's the reason why I did it. I was thinking it was MST. I don't know why the hell you didn't MST during the end phase, but that's also fine. Get my fact, I guess I'll go ahead and get me the big guy. Okay. Hmm. Ah, there's not much I want to do right now. I want my opponent to overextend a little bit more before I push, so I'll take the dual slow. You want to take the dual slow? I'll take the dual slow. No. Show me what you got. Okay. No. Alright, well, I say eventually I'll get something. I guess I'll just start poking you with Armageddon Knight. I'm chill with that. Once again, we'll go ahead and just send, uh... Yeah, I'll just send Eris, and Eris once again, go ahead and get me another Emperor. We'll use him sooner or later. Pretty chill right now. Actually, I said I sent you battle. I forgot I had him in reverse. Oops. Oops. Uh, that's just in my turn. Wow, and my opponent's just gonna sit here and do absolutely nothing. Now I draw you bell. Oh, I should have sent you bell, draw you bell like You gotta make me regret <laughs> My opponent's done like absolutely nothing. I guess I can start popping his back right now. Cause why not? Yeah, and I want one of you in the graveyard anyway. Almost seven? No, okay. So I'm going to pop the new set card, since it seems like the other one really didn't do anything. I'm trying to figure out what deck this is. My opponent's not pushing any plays, okay. He's a newly set D person, so I'm glad I got rid of that. Because this one didn't seem like it was much, unless it's a mere force that he's saving. 14, check it for 15. Alright, good, you know he's 15. Some people don't know. And I die. Yeah. You got the back row, but let's see some plays. You got six cards in hand. You want to set some more back row. That is fine. Got another Armageddon Knight. He already played Torrental, so I don't have to worry about that. So really, there's nothing really stopping me from progressing to, with my plays. So I'll just summon Armageddon Knight. I have all the E-Bells in my hand. It's awesome. I could send a cavalry, but I'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and send the last one. No, I don't want to send the last one because it's one tour guide. You know what? I'll go ahead and send you. It might be useful later, while in the grave. My opponent's sitting here doing absolutely nothing. All right. Well, this is your last turn. Show me what you got. At least reveal your deck to me. At least you're not in cowboy territory. 
Tell me what you got. You got six cards in here. Wow. Wow. Not really. Wow. Absolutely lame door. Makes me sad. You didn't get to do it. What deck are you using? What deck are you using? What are you using? The way you don't get absolutely anything. Like, shit, I'm running you Bell. Oh, you're using UA and you didn't get... Wow. So you didn't get the Rota, the Warrior, nothing. Wow. Wow. So, no uh, level 4 guy. No uh, Monarch Stormforth. <laughs> wow, it's just mm 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 mm. Usually, on duel against that deck, they get a you know a really good hand, and they can, they can you know start the game off fresh. But that was just sad. I just no, I got it, and I beat the shit out of him. Like wow, and I sniped the D prison. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get another duel in. And I opened up like shit, but I didn't know that. I, you know, I opened up like crap, but he opened up like crap. Like, damn. Sounds not terrible. Go ahead and wrote a search. See? Alright, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Making me draw some nightmare after I drew terror. Like, I get it. I get it. Go ahead and summon on the good tonight. Go ahead and drop you L. There you are. Set the limit reverse. Set the oasis. Pass my turn. So I'll be summoning the terror out my hand, which is not a neg, but it's not a plus either. You know, it's gonna go from hand to field, so those are still the same amount of resources than you know something from deck. Stygian. Okay. I'll go ahead and take that 200. You can have that. That ain't what I'm mad at. I'm kind of expecting him to die anyway. Uh, okay, I take an extra 400. I forgot staging had that effect. Scar destroyed monster by bouncing. If I damage your opponent equal to the level of destroyed monster in the graveyard times 100. Okay. Really didn't anticipate that. The question is, do I want to go ahead and do it? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. I remember reverse. Go ahead and do that play. Oh. <sighs> What's this card in resolve? So I turn to defense and I try and it tries to activate destroy, but it doesn't destroy. Okay. Got it. Uh and of course, I draw some nightmare with you, Bell, with Terror. It's just like, why do I keep drawing the same fucking shit? Uh, on activation of decree. Shame. Fact. Send Eris. Eris, get your effect. Give me Calvary. Usually I wouldn't spin back around to create, but right now I'm gonna do it. Summon him. Attack. Make a cast style. Spin that back. Then main phase two turn. You build to defense mode. Yep, sounds like a fine idea to me. That was a tough one. I had to think about that. It's like, oh, yep, 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 yep.
God, I named myself on that play, but I'd rather sit behind a tear than, you know, sit with a new bell that can't even do anything. Good thing I was like, you know what, chain. Yeah. Oh, foolish. I'll go ahead and send the heiress. And this will get her effect. Give me another cavalry. Another one cavalry. Cavalry attack for 19. Effect destroy. Effect. Go ahead. Harris can't attack this turn, which is totally fine, because, you know, it's not attacking anyway. <laughs> I might turn into attack mode and poke him if he doesn't do anything, though. If that's Stygia, I don't know how that's done. I thought I was going against, like, maybe some version of Infernities, because I saw Stygia, but then he played Roar to Crates. It's like, whoa. Didn't know they did that. <laughs> that happen simultaneously so uh yeah sure go ahead give me you alright do the dark hole at me now what Good as extra deck. You can go for like a Castell or something. Like a Dark Reffer? Okay. Oh, you're also using your bell. Just the weird version of it. Alright, discard special. So you also drew Terra, huh? And wow. Wow, we <laughs> both drew Terror and Ultimate. <laughs> Get that number generated. It's like, oh, <laughs> like, yeah, everybody draw the Evel. So he looks like he's using, like, Super Vice Evel. That's fine. Two thousand. So now we're both low on resources. Ooh, that mouse chameleon though. Such a good fucking top deck. It's like fucking beautiful. Could take the duel a little bit slower though. I'm not gonna. Yep. All you need is like a call of the haunted and you can go to town. I'm thinking about just summoning him, you know, banish, pop, hit him for 15 just so I can get this in the graveyard. Or I can go into like... Or I can go into like Yazi. But there's not a lot of shit that targets in, in this deck. So all you need is a swing or a silent doom or something. And bam, there's another tear on the field. It's these two. Wait, he doesn't have Ebel. The Ebel must be in his hand? I don't know, because he went discard. Oh, he went discard special, discard send. Alright. So, he doesn't even have Ebel, so he's not even set up yet. Still. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do this play. Destroy him and just poke you for 15 and a turn. He's low on resources. I'm not getting much plays. Plus, if you know, if I get a nice, you know, another call, if I get a call hunter or another oasis, I can go ahead and activate that, summon him back, and then fall him down and then summon, you know, whoever. Wow. See, and this is the reason why we don't play Bell because our hands get so fucking shitty that it's like, why are we fucking doing this? I'm gonna get a knight. Fact. Go ahead and d drop me. Yeah, the last 
Lazarus, get her effect, and you know what? Give me another one, him. And I said neither of us are getting any revival cards. I'm just wondering what he's gonna do. Like, if he doesn't have Ebel in his hand, there's not much he's gonna do. You know, or he needs Ebel or Tinker in his hand. He needs a revival card, and Ebel or Tinker in his hand, or someone to send it, like another arm, like an Armageddon or Dark Reffer. I'm guessing that's Mystic Tomato. Wow. Uh, what's Mystic Tomato's defense? I think it's like. Oh, there's no one else I need. To, I want to send. I really, I just want some of this sort of this juicy revival. Like that, that looks that looks pretty tantalizing right now. If I could get some of that, you know, both of us are kind of just sitting here, just twiddling our thumbs. Neither one of us are getting any revival. I feel like this duel could be a lot faster. Nope, it's just a summoner monk. Wow, so he has no spells to pitch for the summoner monk. Wow. So, overall, things are just not looking up for him. I mean, I thought, I thought you bell hated me. Like I said, I want to see him at least do something. Wow. Wow. You know what? Sure. Bear back. Like, wow. You know what? I, I can't end it like that. You know, if you're using a Ubel deck, at least show me something. Uh, I drew Ultimate Nightmare this time, so. I just don't like Ubel offs. Ubel offs are kind of annoying. <laughs> it's like, oh, I destroy you, and you destroy me, and then I attack you, and then you attack me, and they're like, ah! <laughs> Go ahead. Hmm. Okay. So he's running around a Kree, so I'm assuming he's running like Swing of Memory and Silent Dooms and shit? I have no idea. Huh. Is it Terror Time? I think it's Terror Time. Yeah, and I'm not even using like the strongest Ebel deck either. Find some of you. Uh, we'll be safe and tack in case he said like you know something. All right, so it is Mystic Tomato. Mhm. Mm you gonna summon Ebel? I wouldn't. Yep, you gonna summon Ebel? That's fine. So. I guess main phase two. I'll just go ahead and go into Castell and fucking spin you back. Actually. You know what? No, because I don't want you bell in the graveyard. I don't want you to have you bell in the graveyard. I could let you have you bell in the graveyard, but I don't want you to have you bell in the graveyard. So you can just put that right back in the deck. Go ahead. That's that. Let's see, that's one of the reasons why I don't like Mr. Tomato. Yeah, I could have won a one view, but then as soon as I detached it, you'd have to be bell in the graveyard, which is probably where you wanted in the first place. So, how about a no? Facts. Go ahead and some ultimate nightmare. Ultimate nightmare is in the graveyard. My bad. I totally forgot I drew it in the opening hand. There we go. Getting some fucking deja vu in this duel. Discard Doom Shaman, Special Summon Dark Graffer. Discard if you want to, or Normal Summon again. Uh huh. Too bad I put that Ubel back in your deck, huh? <laughs> See, I know, I know. Because you want that Ubel in the graveyard, so no. Effect. Well, if you want to put. If you want to put Ubel in the graveyard, you're going to have to neg yourself. Alright, pitch, then put Ebel, or put Tinker. Stygian, another one. Okay, so I'm assuming that you have, okay. But you just ex like completely expunged all your resources. Not with the talk, but... 
I'll just send to know you, Bell. God, is anybody getting deja vu from this fucking play that just happened right now? Two thousand booty. And then I could just turn to attack and then come after you. <laughs> like no. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you need you need to work on your U Bell deck. Go ahead. Now you still don't have U Bell in the graveyard, so even if you draw into like a swing of memories or one of them cards, like yeah, yeah, it's not looking too hot for you, sir. It really isn't. Like I said, if I were you, I would have went ahead and sent U Bell. That way, if I ever drew into uh into uh. Ch -ch 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 I don't even know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Into like a swing or a silent doom. Like, I, I need to see your deck. Like, when this duel's over, just let me see your deck. Because this is actually getting kind of bad. Is that game? 3,000. It's not game yet. Uh, got 100 life points left. I'll give you one more turn. Yep. Yep. Oh, wow. <sighs> you need my help with the deck? Wow, he just leaves. Like, okay. Like, you're using a Ubel deck. You, you don't want to talk to the guy named Ubel fucking Mastery? Like, nigga, I can help you. Run. Don't run this. This card's bad. Don't run that. You, this isn't necessary. You should have dropped Ubel. I don't know why. You're, you're sending all these Stygians, but where's Ubel? You know? You're running, you know, Royal Decree, so I'm hoping that you're running... I wish I could see your deck. I wish I could help you, but you just left, so... <sighs> you got beat by probably one of the weakest Ubel decks on Vitamin Y. Like, whew. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it, so... Maybe that guy will find my channel one day and he'll, you know, ask for help. I'm totally willing to help anybody who needs help with the Ubel deck. You know, sometimes I'm willing to sit down and help you with it, sometimes I'm lazy and I'll just, you know, send you the deck. <laughs> it really depends. There's a couple of people who are like, oh, can I see Super Bowl? like here. <laughs> it's a picture. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using Play Glitch to see Bell. All right, people. Thanks for watching.